one in this video let's see what are different access uh, uh, control specifiers that are available in swift and uh, what is the use of those uh, uh, access specifiers in the swift language in our uh, uh, daily programming so uh, basically access control uh, restrict access to parts of your code uh, from code in other source files and modules where uh, sometimes we need uh, we need to restrict uh, restrict the access to our content uh, uh, within the within the swift file or within the module between the swift files or uh, uh, between the modules and among the modules so we need to restrict access so that uh, our code can be encapsulated uh, so for which we use the access uh, access controls and uh, there are basically five access controls uh, control specifiers in swift programming language let me start with highly restrictive so we have private uh, file private uh, internal public and open okay so let me explain one by one starting with the highly restrictive which is uh, private for which i have taken a project uh, uh, which is my main app and i have created another project separately which is utility just to add the framework so that a couple of access specifiers i need to explain how how they work why because they need to be in another module so this utility framework is like another module and main app is using this module so there is a communication between these two modules if main app uh, tries to access uh, something in the other module which is the utility framework how the things work uh, we will discuss here so for which i have added a uh, uh, couple of uh, classes in the utilities uh, we will see what happens if the main app tries to access these things so first in place uh, let's try private so as we all know if I am writing something as private it whether it could be class or something if I say uh, my product is private to for example in the main app I have main file and uh, the second file is another file so in uh, main file i have created a product and i made it as private so in in this if i if i try to access if i try to access some function if i try to access the product dot something for example let's say let's say some function print price just a function an empty function if i try to access product dot print price so if i try to build it what happens what it is saying cannot find product in scope why because this product class which we created and we have set it as private it is only available to the main file the scope is within the main file so that is the reason private if you add it to something that will be only accessible within that scope that is the reason we call private as very highly restrictive access specifier okay so this is it gives very low access that means it is highly restrictive so uh, this uh, this terminology is very useful in interviews point of view uh, where uh, they, uh, they may ask what is highly restrictive access specifier it is private okay and uh, so uh, starting with the higher uh, highly restrictive private next what we can do is uh, next access specifier is file private so let's see why pri file private got introduced and uh, and why it got introduced let's see let's see why it is of for example I'm uh, let me remove this code we don't need it for example uh, as the name itself says uh, let me remove let, let it be private not a problem let me add private to this function for example I have uh, another class called shopping cart let's say sorry so in this if I try to create I, I can create why because the product is within the scope of this file where shopping cart is there so when i try to create print price when i try to build it it would say just a second let 
me initialize let me write uh, a sample function print uh, price of product so let me create an instance product dot when I try to see it's not even coming but when I try to access it forcefully so what it would do it will say uh, this method which you are trying to access is inaccessible to due to private protection level though we are in the same file which is main file uh, though this class is not private now uh, the, this product is not private now as this function is private now the scope of this uh, pr print price function is within this product class so even though we are in the same file i cannot access why because this is having the private restriction for example we need something like it it has to be private to uh, it has to be private to only outside of this file uh, not within the file they, there comes file private that means okay you go ahead and access it within the file why because uh, we assume that within the file we are going to do the same stuff so we want to encapsulate in that way then then in that case we just give some uh, lenience uh, to the access uh, control saying okay within the file this is uh, within the file it is private that means within the file i can access it now if i build it there will not be any build errors so that is the difference between private and file private so private is if we declare it within the only the scope you can access it if it is file private within the uh, within the file you can access it but whereas if i but outside of this file it will give a error saying inaccessible due to file private why why because it is altogether another file the stuff is the file private is in this file it is there in another file that is how what is written in this code cannot be accessible to this code that's how we encapsulate using the file control so highly is private next one is file private next one is the default one this is one of the good interview questions where uh, if you are not mentioning anything that means implicitly it we are saying it as internal internal means within the module so internal means within the module you can access it you can access it anywhere that means you do not need to mention within the module anywhere in any file you can access this particular uh, you, you, you can access this particular uh, Uh, uh this particular method so which is by default internal so within the module product you can access it uh, but outside of the module you cannot access it okay it's only within the module so let's say uh, to prove it uh, uh, for example uh, i'm going to my framework now now i have an internal class that means i have not given any access specifier if you can see so what if i try to create an instance of internal class uh, so for which let me uh, internal class let's see what it does so here I will go uh, let's say in this particular case so let me add uh, sorry let me import the framework also sorry you t how I have created this framework, how I have added to added to this project is out of scope for this tutorial. But in maybe I'll create a new tutorial for how to add the frameworks to the project. So, so it is basically utility. I don't know why it is not coming, but just a second. Oh, I think I imported it already. Okay. So here I'd go and i try to access the internal class dot or let's say let uh, internal class is equal to internal class if i try to build it it says cannot find internal class in scope why because this is an internal this is it this can be accessed only within the module okay outside of the module i cannot i cannot access it for example within this utility framework anywhere i can anywhere i can uh, use this internal class so what if i want to access something outside of the module now here it comes the public uh, access specifier now uh, so now here comes public so 
outside of the outside of the module as well now instead of internal class let's say if you are able to for example this public class should be accessible correct i should be able to access create instance of this public class so uh, now sorry now my so now i say public class is equal to public class now what it will say it will say uh, initializer is inaccessible due to internal protection level by what it is saying is boss of course your class is public but your init is as you have not mentioned anything it is internal you can't initialize it so what i need to do i need to create public that is the reason in other, in, in in some pod files or in some other frameworks you must have seen explicitly where mentioning public and all correct so that is the reason if you have to access something outside of your module yes you need to have the public access level now i think i can create see there, there are no builders no build got succeeded so that is pretty much the difference between internal and public internal is within the module uh, which is a default access specifier and it's implicit you don't need to explicitly mention it if, if i'm leaving it empty that means it is internal only okay so public outside of the module as well but the problem with public is let me tell you the problem with the public then i'll explain what is uh, open okay now for example uh, child for example i need to create uh, a child public class i want to extend uh, the public class okay now what it is saying cannot inherit from non-open class that means public class i can access it is it is not saying public class is out of the scope what it is saying is you can access see you can access but you cannot subclass it cannot inherit from a non-open class what it is saying is it is it is a non-open access specifier then so that is the reason open got introduced open is it is outside the module plus inheritance okay that is the reason this is having high access hence least restrictive correct it is giving higher it is giving higher access why because outside the module you can that is the reason see open class build is successful that means i can inherit child open class which is there in the utilities okay that means it is accessible outside of the module and also i can subclass it so uh, we should be very very careful when when we are giving open access to something in our framework why because outside of the module they can extend it and they can manipulate it as well that is the reason it is it gives high access but it is very least res restrictive so i hope this video is helpful where we have discussed uh, all the access controls which are very useful when you're when you want to you know encapsulate something and restrict uh, basically if you have the boundaries uh, boundaries and if you want to define the level of access to something correct then uh, starting with the highly restrictive to low least restrictive so which is private uh, which is highly restrictive and file private uh, which uh, uh, gives access within the file and the default behavior internal which is implicit you don't need to explicitly mention it as internal which is within the module only that's the restriction then then comes public public it gives access to outside of the module as well but the problem with public is you can't in inherit you can't extend it then then comes the open open works outside of the module as well plus it it is it gives the inheritance so thus it is high access but least restrictive i hope this post is useful and i think i pretty much taken a uh, reasonable example and explained it thank you